it's great that it's close to game time. It seems like we've been practicing for uh, three months now, and uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to see this defense to see what they're going to do. You know, um, you know they've uh, they've worked very hard. Um, it's not always been perfect, uh, but every day I still say I, they come out with the attitude of trying to get better. And uh, this is going to be a this is going to be a. Uh, an interesting day and a great day, you know, uh, uh, to see these guys go out on that field and uh, some of them have never played, you know, and uh, others of them I know have something deep inside of them that they want to prove that they're a Michigan defense. And uh, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great day. Greg, what, what gives you the confidence that they're going to be better than they were? Because, uh, well, one, I don't know how they were. Uh, you know, I don't know how they were. All I can go by is since the day I've got here watching them work in the off season, uh, watching them come out to practice every day and try to go as hard as they can. And again, like I said, it's it's not been perfect. You know, it's not uh, it, it's not where we're going to be. But every single day they've come back in the meetings and on the field trying to do what we're asking them to do. And that gives me confidence. As long as they keep doing that, I really believe uh, <coughs> we'll improve and we'll become as good as we can be. With the guys that were here last year, do you sense a chip on their shoulder that they do have something to prove after they struggled? I, I don't know if there's a chip on their shoulder. I, I, I think, I, I really believe every one of them want to prove that they are a Michigan defensive football player, and we are a Michigan defense. And I think they truly believe that and truly uh, are grabbing for that. And uh, or they wouldn't have led like they've led, you know. And they, and one of the hardest things for a, a a group of seniors is to have a new staff come in. That's really really a hard thing. And uh, that's I think why I respect this group so much because they have bought in from day one, and uh, and they've they've been told that that isn't right and they've been told that that's not good enough and that won't get it done a million times and they come right back and try to do it the right way and uh, you know I think that that's what what makes this senior class uh, a group that you want to do so well. Is there a way you're able to ease that transition because they that change is so hard? No no I, I don't think as a coach you ever try to change the way you coach you know and I think they knew from day one that our staff with Brady starting at the top is uh, we're going to demand the right way to do it and everything they do and if they don't do it that way then they're going to they're going to know it and we're going to change it and you're going to keep doing it the right way and we've got to do things that way from from how you act off the field uh, to how you train in the weight room to how you practice and how you work on your technique and uh, that's the only thing we'll ever be about and uh, I think they know that and I think the other thing is when there's consistency in a staff, and, and, and I believe, you know, speaking for the defense and starting with Brady Hoke, our head football coach, we're consistent. You know, we, we know what you have to do to be successful, and we, we're demanding that. And, and every day, every second, every step they take, you know, is corrected or it's commented on. And every, every film is graded. Every film is evaluated. And they watch every piece of film with the coaching staff. And, and uh, I don't know if they do that everywhere else, but we, we find time to do it. And, and they make sure they know what the corrections have to be made. You talked about coming here because Brady was here, and obviously you knew a lot about him before you got here. What one moment this month has grabbed you as has there been like a, a, a moment that has impressed you the most or maybe the most fired up about him leading this program? I, I think there's a lot of them. You know, I, I I've said this before. I said you know uh, I've been doing this a long time, and, and when you come in every day and you're fired up about coaching, it starts at the top. Uh, I, I use today as an example. I mean, uh, you know, we knew we had to come out and, and really, really have a high-energy practice and everything like that, and there we've got the, the fight song going upstairs for an hour uh, from 1.30 to 2.30, and I mean, I'm just bouncing in my office, and it's blaring, and, and uh, I just kind of smiled and said, man, this guy's really got it, you know. And, uh, and I think that's what will be consistent all the way through. You know, if there's bad times, you know, hey, we'll go through them. We'll go through them, and we're going to get better. We're going to keep going and going and going until we get where we have to go. And I know every one of us on our staff uh, believe that. And uh, that's what we're going to keep doing. We saw the two new, which position battles are still ongoing? 
Well, I, th I think every position battle is still going. That, that'll always be the way it is with us on defense. You know, I, our guys know that. Uh, I don't care, you know, I don't care if you're a guy that started for four, four years straight, you know, you, you don't play up to your ability now. There's going to be consequences. And so I think everyone uh, knows that you, you've always got to go as hard as you can go. Um, you know, I, I don't know if there's any specific ones, you know, uh, the starting lineup, you know, I don't know what that is really yet. You know, we've got a couple practices yet to make sure everything's set, you know. And uh, the one thing that we're going to do is we're going to always try to rotate people, you know. And and I've said this before. I, I believe in two starting lineups, you know. I, that's how important it is. That, whoever's not in there after the opening kickoff, whenever that next group of guys comes in, they're just as valuable as the ones that are there. And uh, that's something that we really, really believe in. And, uh, and then along with that, when that second guy is in there, that first guy's got to get that rest and come back, and he's got to go as hard as he can possibly go. And that, that's how we'll make it. You know, that's, that's one of the ways that we will, we will get where we have to get is that play as hard as you can, and you can't do that. 75 plays a game you can't do it and so we've got to have guys behind him that the guy goes in and he goes as hard as he can he may not be as good but going hard is good enough and uh, and then we'll go from there you guys have obviously these guys have are relatively new to this system is there maybe a greater potential for growth from the start of the season to the end of the season? definitely uh i think a lot of times when a player isn't successful right now in practice it's the mental part not understanding where all pieces fit in the defense right now it's 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 not uncommon for a, a younger player to just do his thing and do what he thinks is right and not knowing that he should have done this maybe a couple steps more to the left because there's somebody over here you know and that comes and that's where the correcting comes in you just go hey you know look you got a guy right here you should have been oh okay i got it now and now you hope they don't make that mistake the second time you know, and so that's what that's what we're all about right now is every little thing there seems like there's a correction to be made, you know, and uh, and that's why I respect these guys, because they've listened and they go, OK, and then we've done so many walkthroughs every second when the kicking game is going on our defensive line is walking through what they're supposed to be doing. They're not standing there watching. I, I think from the start of special teams. Every defensive player is moving and working to get better. And that doesn't happen in a lot of schools. You know, a lot of times when the special teams is going on, there's a whole bunch of guys standing there watching. That, that, that's not what we're about, and I think they're getting better because of that. You guys have obviously been impressed with Nathan Brink. But what has Heinecker done to kind of stand out at that weak side spot? Yeah, well, he, he's a big, strong, physical uh, kid that 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 has. He's a senior, you know. He's a fifth-year senior. He's been around a long time, and uh, th that's what we're looking for. We're looking for, all right, the two of them make one, you know. And uh, and and Quentin Washington's the same thing, you know. When he goes in that ball game, go as hard as you can, Q, as hard as you can. That'll be good enough. That's all you can give us right now until you get the experience and get the technique things. And then you just keep going right down the line, every position. Will Campbell the same way, you know, um, when he rotates in there, go, you know, go. You don't, have to, you don't have to play 70 plays. Go the plays you're in there, get your rest and go again. And it goes right for every position. Greg, the NFL season says start soon too. Are you happier? Now, now that you've tried the NFL and are back in college, do you feel like you're happier? I'm happy. I don't know if I'm happier, I'm happy. You know, how can you coach? How can you do what we do? I mean, think about it. I get to get up every morning. I come in here 5 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I don't have some boss standing over me just making me feel like I'm the dumbest guy in the world. You know, I get to see kids that look at you and go, coach, coach me today, coach me today. I mean, you can't, it doesn't get any better than that, you know. And I don't know if it's any better than the NFL or not. A coaching is a great profession when you have great kids. Now, it's a tough profession now if you don't have good character kids. I've been there, too, and uh, that's not a good deal. We happen to have great kids here, and uh, it's a great school. So how could you not be happy, you know? Now, winning is the most important thing. Uh, bottom line, you know, bottom line is winning, and uh, we know that's what our job is. And so, you know, that, that, that's the next part of it. What stands out about the Western quarterback as you look at him on tape? I, I think he's a great quarterback. 
I, I and you'll find out uh, when you ask me about players that we're going to play against, I'm going to always be honest. And uh, I think this guy's special. I think this guy, you're going to see this guy playing on Sunday someday. He's got an arm that he can throw it from hash to the sideline. Uh, and the thing that impresses me about him is he's a very, very tough kid. He takes some really, really strong hits, and he comes right back, and he's going again. Uh, he's got mobility. Uh, he can run when he has to. Um, I think this guy's a real deal. What's Mike Jones done to move up on the depth chart? He's consistently come out every day trying to do what he's supposed to do. You know, uh, you know this. I got a feeling Mike Jones uh, came from a, a program where he probably either blitzed all the time or just played sickum football. You know, and uh, now all of a sudden he's getting coached every single second. And some guys can't do it. You know, he is one that I've been really, really excited about because it looks like every day he's looking to get better and he's listening. And I see signs of him, okay, now you did it right. You stayed back. You didn't run past the hole, that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I, and he's a sophomore. That, that's what should happen. You know, a freshman, and it is hard for freshmen, you know. And then all of a sudden, sophomore year, you should see that. And then you should see the next step and the next step. But I think that's the biggest thing. Coach, you talk about rolling that second team. How often do you plan on, you know, how much playing time do you think those guys are going to get? We haven't, we haven't come up with a number yet. Yeah. You know, we haven't come up with a number yet, but, uh, you know, some guys might go six. You know, some guys might go six and sit two or three. You know, some guys might go four and four. You got four, you got four, all the way through the ball game. You know, and it, it all depends on, uh, you know, how close at the end of the week we, see, we feel their talent level is, you know, uh, and, and then we'll get that number down as we go. Do you feel like there's positions you might go, like defensive line more so than secondary? Than yeah, second, the secondary, you, you, you don't do that as much with the secondary. In the secondary, you kind of, you might go one out of the four, you know, or you might go one safety for two positions or one corner for two corners. The big boys, uh, you know, they're, if this is going to be a, a, a game where they're throwing the ball, you know, that, that'll wear you out right away. And you can't compete if you don't go hard against us. And so we've got to be able to do that. How's that battle between Floyd and Avery and Countess opposite Wolf Wolf? Well, there, it, 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 it's a great battle. It's a great battle, and, and what happens is every day somebody different seems like they're taking the step, you know, and then the next day this guy steps. So I, I, I'm hoping that all three of them are getting better, you know, and you can't ever have too many corners, you know. So, uh, you know, hopefully all of them, as we get to the end of the week right here, we'll evaluate it and say, okay, this is the guy, and this guy can go in any time, and we shouldn't miss a beat. Thomas Gordon seems to have jumped on the radar a little bit. What have you seen from him in this ball camp? Uh, I think a great effort, you know, I think that he's played with a lot of energy uh, and he's got uh, versatility for us. He can, he can be in some of our, our packages, different packages where he can almost be like a linebacker at times and then he can go be a safety and then he can go be a nickel. You know, he, he's, he's understood the defenses. He's, he's been a guy that's been a real student and that, his flexibility has really helped us. How many different packages do you expect him to use? Complicated, a lot of yeah, yeah. I mean, I, uh, you know, I, th I, you know, we're, we're one thing I always believe in. We're going to give our guys enough bullets. You know, uh, we're not going to go out there and play one defense. You know, so and and that's why our guys have uh, have really worked hard on understanding what we want from them. And uh, you know, I, I, my belief is always to try to give your guys every opportunity to be successful. Now, if they can't pick it up, if the heat of the battle they're making mistakes, then that can't work. And that's why we've worked so hard on our walkthroughs. And that's why we're constantly challenging them on, uh, okay, here's the call, uh, what do you do? Boom, and, and he's stepping through chairs or stepping through bags, making sure that everything is exactly right. And, uh, and like I said earlier, that's why I'm impressed with these guys because they understand that. And, and, and believe me, I've seen a lot of places where you see a lot of guys standing around in practice. And uh, our guys know, okay, come on over here. We're going to walk through this all again. And we're going to get every one of these calls where you're supposed to be. Because if they know where to line up and they know where they're supposed to be, that's half the battle. Now the rest of it's going to be playing hard. Do you prefer different defenses out of the same look or a lot of different looks? I mean, no, I, I, both of them. You know, both of them. But I like to be able to run, I like to be able to run the same defenses 
uh, out of two different packages, like fast guys out there compared to this group of guys. And and uh, and the reason I like that is because if you don't ever want to get caught on the field with a certain uh, personnel group, and then you can't call some of the defenses that you want to call. And so whatever you have out there, you should be able to do what you want to do with your defense. So at the team's running no huddle. Excuse me. At the team's running no huddle. What what is your I guess uh, how do you fight back with that? Well, we we've worked all camp on our wristbands. You know, we we will always we will always uh, we will always be ready in every game to if a team's a no huddle team to be able to go just immediately to wristbands and all you gotta do is just point to the wristband and give them the number and they know exactly what defense it is and you go. You know, so we we've uh, we've worked on that throughout camp. What matchups are you most excited about? Be it strength against strength. Well, I, I I think I like uh, I, I like Ryan Van Bergen in there. I like uh, Mike Martin in there. You know, I I, I like Craig Rowe. You know, I, I I think those are three positions right there where we got to win. You know, and that's what you look at when you look at your defense. We got to win some of these positions. You know, and I think I think those are three guys that you got to say, hey, we got to win these battles right here. Uh, you know, and I think you know I want to win every battle, but uh, those are ones that I think. You got to say this is this. We got to win these.